Hello, my friends. Come on in and make yourself at home. My name is Julia, and this time I'm creating a mini journal from Art by Marlene and use oil and create stamps to fill it. I bought all of this from Sorry Stamping Studio, and I will link to it all in the description box below. I showed you how to make the journal in another video, so here I'm just showing how the cover and pages look cut out and also a journal I already made that was Tim Holtz inspired. So I will use Distress Ink in Weathered Wood and Black Soot and Distress Oxide Ink in Hickory Smoke. I intend to do some ink smooshing on the pages, so I smoosh the ink on the piece of plastic, spray with water and smoosh it very random over my cover. And I start with weathered wood. I dry in between and then I move on to hickory smoke and do the same procedure using a piece of packaging to smoosh the ink. Then I use black soot and do the same again and get that drama and contrast I'm looking for. Next I'm using weather wood ink and I dilute it with water before I make splashes all over my cover. To add some texture I brought out a stencil from Tim Holtz and I use a brush to stencil in those arches first in weathered wood grey blue and then in black soot. When I'm happy with the stenciling, I use black soot to go around the edges on both sides before I ink smoosh the inside cover in the same colors and the same stenciling. Next up, I'm using my best paper or just hot pressed watercolor paper because this stamp set from All and Create has so much detail. And I stamp the flowers in Versafine Onyx Black Ink. And as always, I stamp many, many flowers. To color the flowers, I use Distress Oxide Ink in Speckled Egg and cover my flowers with that light bluish gray. Then I bring in Weathered Wood. To deepen the shadows and finally I use black soot to define my shadows more before I blend it all out with speckled egg again. For the branches and leaves I use Distress Oxide inks in bundled sage, ground espresso and hickory smoke. The last thing I do before fussy cutting is add more black to the shadows. I am going to use a sentiment from the flower stamp set on my cover. So I stamp the sentiment in Versafine Onyx Black Ink and I cover it with Wow's Clear Super Fine Embossing Powder and heat set until melted and shiny. Next I'm folding my cover and then I bring out all my flowers and start gluing them down. I snip off anything hanging off the edge and glue those flowers down on both the front and the back of the cover. Finally I glue down the sentiment on the front of the cover. So this journal needs pages and for the first I will use Distress Ink in Mustard Seed and Fired Brick. I use the same piece of packaging and start with the yellow before I bring in the red and I do the same on both sides. 
When I smush, I always dry in between layers. And for the second page, I will use this dress ink in picked raspberries and peacock feathers. This time, I'm impatient and smush the ink pads on my surface and smush the paper into the ink. And when I'm done smushing, I make splashes with the same ink, peacock feathers. For the third page, I use this dress ink in seedless preserves and blueprint sketch. I do the same smooshing as before and add those splashes at the end. Here are my first three pages in this journal and I bring out a distressed crayon in black suit. I scribble the crayon around the edges and use a wet finger to smudge it and frame my pages. Since my first page is yellow and red, I decide to color more of those flowers in yellow, orange and red to decorate the inside of the cover. I start with yellow and add shadows with the orange and deepen the shadows with red before I bring in yellow again to soften the edges. Next, I glue down the yellow and red flowers on the inside of the cover. And now, I'm happy with the whole cover. Now, when my cover is finished, I bring out the small stamp sets from All and Create that I have collected. I stamp two video game playing boys because my video game playing boys are twins. Then I stamp the girl and her sewing machine. I have many dear ones that are amazing at sewing, but I can't seem to get along with my machine. I stamp two more girls, one with her coffee mug and one reading book. It's time to color my boys, and for the hair I use Distress Oxides in tea dye and scattered straw. Then I bring out the orange-red crackling campfire and color one shirt, and using the deeper candied apple to add shadows. The second shirt is colored with carved pumpkin, and for both pants I use faded jeans and tumbled glass. I use the colors I have out to make a swirl on the TV. I used blue, purple and black before I add some shimmer with a shimmer pen. For their faces and hands I used my Prima watercolor palette called Complexions. So, I have my boys and that fiery background and I decide to use the gaming sentiments from the stamp set to add to my background. I also use a sentiment from another stamp set that says stay curious and I put all of the sentiments on an acrylic block and stamp in Versafine Onyx Black ink around the edges and sometimes I don't ink up before I stamp again to have variation and that's called second generation stamping. So let's color this girl and her sewing machine. I start with the table the machine is on and color that in vintage photo and ground espresso. For the sewing machine I used hickory smoke to give that white machine some shadow. For her shirt I used candied apple and fired brick for the shadows. Her pants are jeans and colored in faded jeans and tumbled glass. I'm using purple and blue for her flower eye and made her a brunette using vintage photo and ground espresso. And for her face I use the same watercolors as before. 
Next up, I color the girl and her coffee, starting with her dress that I colored with black soot distress oxide ink. I color her striped leggings with yellow and black and her mug with orange. I use the same Prima palette to give this girl a darker skin tone. I color her hair black and for the petals around the eye I use yellow, orange and red. For the book lover, I start with the complexion palette and give her a skin tone before I color her shirt with blue inks in peacock feathers and salvage patina. For her hat, I used purples in dusty concord and wilted violet and for her hair, I used scattered straw. For the petals around her eye, I used wilted violet and kitsch flamingo pink. Now, let's finish this background and since I view the boys as mine, I bring out another, another stamp set with a hand holding a heart on a string. I stamp in Versafine, Onyx Black Ink and Heat Emboss with Wow's Clear Embossing Powder. Next, I glue down the TV, the boys sitting on stacks of books. That's probably wishful thinking on my part. And I use a Tabilo Oil pencil to add some shadow. Next I'm using this stamp set with a typewriter and I stamp the typewriter in Versafine Onyx Black Ink. Next up I'm working on the background for the coffee drinking girl and I have this coffee bean stamp from Gummy Alpan. I use my stamping platform to stamp coffee beans around the edges and I'm heat embossing them with WOW's gold super fine embossing powder. So this is how the journal is looking before I take the pages out and add my girls to their backgrounds, starting with the coffee lover. I stamp many of those mugs, stack them together and glue the towers of coffee mugs to the background. Then I put foam tape behind the girl and glue her down. I make scribbly black lines around the sentiment, life happens, coffee helps and glue it in place. Next up is our sewing girl and I stamp so many rolls of thread and I glue them down at the bottom. Then I glue down the sewing machine and glue the girl down with foam tape before I put a small sentiment, so happy, in the corner. Next, I'm gluing the typewriter in place along with the stacks of books before I glue down the girl sitting on the typewriter. Then I glue down the sentiment, get lost in a good book. But I felt something missing on the page with the sewing machine, so I bring out a stitch stamp from Dilutions and stamp those faux stitches around the page, and I heat emboss them with clear embossing powder. And now, this mini All and Create journal is finished. And you will find the links to Sari's Stamping Studio in the description box below. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you all so much. Until the next time, see you soon.